Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the blog, blog post about that issue that all myeloma patients are um, all too familiar with, lytic lesions, uh, bone health. Um, first and foremost, according to research, 90% of us will uh, struggle with, will deal with bone damage at some point during our um, uh, lives as myeloma patients. Uh, many of us, certainly upon diagnosis, but it's possible to, to have a normal bone health in the beginning and develop bone problems later. The, the main point of this uh, blog post is that bone uh, focus whether it's imaging, um, supplements, um, exercise, even conventional therapies, um, bisphosphonates, Zomeda, Iridia, those kinds of things, are a part of our lives forever. Imaging studies, there, there's no other way to peer into our bones to see if we have lesions. I, I've seen many patients to, uh, ask on, in, on online groups. Um, my blood work, urine work looks fine, yet I have lesions appearing on PET scans or um, MRIs. You know, what's going on? Sometimes you, you, you don't feel them. They, they, you don't notice uh, any, any bone pain. Sometimes they are t tiny. Uh, sometimes they do cause bone pain. Um, sometimes they break bones. All to say, for the multiple myeloma patient, bone health is an ongoing issue. It's, it's almost as if certainly undergoing therapy in the beginning can stabilize your, um, your multiple myeloma, but that's not to say that you can really sort of ever take your eye off the ball, exercise, nutrition, green leafy vegetables, supplementation, vitamin B, excuse me, um, vitamin D3, uh, magnesium, Focusing on bone health is a challenge that we face for the rest of our lives. And, and it's, it's actually a good thing. It's common for, for able-bodied uh, seniors to experience bone problems anyway, just as well that those of us in our 50s and 60s focus on our bone health um, for the rest of our lives. If you have any questions, comments, scroll down the page, uh, ask me a question. Uh, send me a comment. I will reply to you ASAP. In the meantime, thank you for your time and be well.